Back in 2014, a YouTube channel by the name of WebDriver Torso had left millions in confusion with its many seemingly nonsensical videos. And when I say many, I mean many. The channel uploaded content at an alarmingly fast rate, to the point that it was quite apparent that it wasn't the work of a single person. Each video usually consisted of a sequence of slides showing red and blue boxes accompanied by various beeping noises. To many, WebDriver Torso was thought to be some kind of code or secret message put out there by someone for some reason. The only way to find out, of course, was to crack the code. Unfortunately, this wasn't the case at all, and eventually, Google themselves came forward, explaining that WebDriver Torso was simply an automated account created to test the platform. After the wild goose chase that was WebDriver Torso, many people were skeptical when a new, equally strange channel made its way onto the scene. Unfavorable Semicircle was created in 2015, and much like WebDriver Torso, featured anomalous, cryptic videos that were just begging to be interpreted that were also released at an incredibly fast rate. All uploads featured the Sagittarius symbol in the title, and instead of red and blue boxes, Unfavorable Semicircle's videos usually presented a solid color and pixelated dots in various patterns. The videos can even be split up into different series, where certain strings of uploads bear similar styles, lengths, and titles. Some of these videos were as short as 5 seconds, while others lasted several hours. Some were silent, where others featured everything from unnerving humming noises to a man's muffled voice reading out letters and numbers. Again, many initially decided to brush this off, assuming it was another test by Google. However, this theory was completely thrown out the window when in February of 2016, YouTube themselves banned the account due to terms of service violations. At this point, users on the subreddits deep into YouTube and unexplained photos had already been sparking an interest in this bizarre channel, prompting attention and coverage by various websites and even mainstream media such as the BBC. About a month later, those investigating the channel discovered the Google Plus page associated with a banned account. It featured cryptic text that was later decoded and led to a Twitter account and a new YouTube account, this time named Unfavorable Semi. The internet's obsession with this strange channel has led to the creation of a subreddit, a website, and an unfavorable semicircle wiki dedicated to centralizing the efforts to find the truth. A year and a half after its creation, Unfavorable Semicircle's purpose is still unknown. And while the Twitter account went cold in November of 2016, the second YouTube account remains active. Just like any other mystery, Unfavorable Semicircle has sparked numerous theories, especially after it became apparent that it wasn't another WebDriver torso. So far, the theories range from disappointing all the way to bizarre and extremely unlikely. Some believe that Unfavorable Semicircle is viral marketing or simply the product of an online troll. These are, however, unlikely due to how long it's been going on and the fact that it doesn't appear to serve any specific purpose. Others believe that it's a recruitment tool or an alternate reality game. Again, plausible but unlikely due to its lack of direction. Some believe it's a form of outsider art, since art doesn't require a set purpose or meaning. Many also argue that it could be some sort of YouTube-based number station, a script that's gone out of control, or even the work of aliens. So what exactly is Unfavorable Semicircle and its purpose? Who is behind it, and what is he, she, or they trying to communicate? At this point, it seems we can only speculate until its creators decide to come forward. 
I invite you to look into this mystery for yourself and decide what to make of it. My name is Rainbot, and this concludes episode one of Shrouded Truth. Come back next week for episode two, where we discuss yet another online mystery.